At West Oakland's Prescott Elementary School, a 33-foot Winnebago sits in the paved-over playground, surrounded by the shouts of students on recess. To the casual observer, it might look as if this RV is using the schoolyard's ample asphalt for free parking. In fact, inside the vehicle, a mobile asthma clinic called the Breathmobile, a crack team of doctors, nurses, respiratory therapists, and service workers, is mounting an innovative fight against inner-city asthma. One of the reasons we feel that the Breathmobile is so important for this area, especially this particular zip code, is because this is, in the past years, has been one of the highest populations for hospitalizations for asthma in the Bay Area. That's Priscilla Ward, a respiratory therapist who works on the Breathmobile. Ward, along with a nurse, a patient service worker, and a doctor, spends her days guiding children and their parents through the Breathmobile as it visits schools in and around Oakland. Okay, it looks like 55 pounds. Okay, you can step down, please. At the Breathmobile, children are treated just like they would be at any specialty asthma clinic, says Dr. Natalia Kushner. We try to make this clinic look like an office, an allergy immunology office. I do the assessment of the children, um, the usual ears, nose, throat, um, and listen to their lungs. A caseworker collects data on how they've been doing for the past four weeks since their last visit. Since we've seen her last, does she have any problems at night while she's sleeping? Does she wake up coughing or anything like that? They're weighed, their blood pressure and heart rate is monitored, and they complete a pulmonary function test. We have them take a deep breath, and then when she blows out, you see how much air she can get out in one second. Big breath in. Boom! Good job. Do a couple more times. Big breath. <gasps> After children are seen by the doctor, Breathmobile staff make sure they know how to use their asthma medication. I will make sure that the parents and the child know how medication is used. We we'll spend lots of time on that, uh, on the correct techniques, uh, because that's the key to success. That's what we do here. That's what our goal. Most of the families do know their children have asthma. This is not our goal to, to tell them again about it. But what we need to do is to help them manage their children so their, their children will be successful in life and can participate in sports and can do everything and not go to the emergency rooms.